Canada is investigating possible links between the of a Sikh leader and the Indian government. Shaking relations. In the latest sign of rising tensions, Canada has flatly rejected an Indian travel advisory urging utmost caution when visiting the North American country. On Wednesday, Canadian Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc responded to the travel warning immediately after the announcement, telling reporters, Canada is a safe country. Canada likewise updated its travel information this week, warning travelers to exercise a high degree of caution when stopping in India due to the threat of terrorist attack. The tit for tat on travel advisories comes amid an ongoing political row between Canada and India. Tensions spiked on Monday when Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced authorities were investigating credible allegations of a potential link between Indian government agents and the June killing of Sikh activist Hardeep Singh Niger. India's foreign ministry did not directly reference Trudeau's remarks in its advice on Wednesday. Instead, he said in a statement that New Delhi was concerned about the safety of its citizens in Canada due to politically ignored hate crimes and criminal violence. In statement made by ministry, it was stated that the threats specifically target Indian diplomats and some segments of Indian society who oppose anti-India agenda. Indian citizens are therefore advised to avoid traveling to areas and potential venues in Canada where such incidents have occurred. Trudeau's dramatic announcement inquiry before the Canadian House Commons inflamed long-simmering tensions between Ottawa and New Delhi over Vakasi Sikhs in Canada who support creation in independent Sikh state in India. Sikh advocates say they face persecution. Surveillance and regular threats under Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government. While New Delhi has accused the separatist movement of regularly planning violence, Stay at Home India has vehemently denied any involvement in Niger's killing, calling the suggestion absurd. Two masked assailants shot and killed the activist and business owner as he left a Sikh temple in Surrey, British Columbia, on June 18. Niger's son, Balraj Singh Niger, 21, said in an interview with the Canadian press that his father met regularly with Canadian security intelligence service officers to discuss threats to his life. Young Niger recalled attending a meeting where his father was advised to stay at home. In media interviews, family friends said the late Niger peacefully supported the Sikh separatist movement and exercised his right to free speech in Canada. We need to put pressure on India. You can't come to a foreign country and kill a citizen who speaks against you. His son said, that's like saying someone from Quebec wanted a separate country and Canada killed him. That would just be silencing the issue. But that's not true. However, according media reports, Indian auth. 